Okay, in this video we're going to solve the trig equation sine of x plus tangent of x is equal to zero. And on our trig identity hexagon, tangent is the quotient of sine divided by cosine. So we'll start by changing that tangent into the sine of x divided by the cosine of x, and that's equal to zero. Okay, now to combine these two terms, we're going to need a common denominator of cosine of x. So I'm going to multiply this first term, sine of x, by cosine of x over cosine of x to get sine of x cosine of x divided by cosine of x plus sine of x over cosine of x, and that's equal to zero. Okay, now we have a common denominator. We can go ahead and add the numerators. We'll have sine of x cosine of x plus sine of x all divided by cosine of x equals zero. And then when we cross multiply sine of x cosine of x plus sine of x is equal to zero because zero times cosine of x is zero. Now we have uh, two terms, so that's a binomial. Each of those two terms has a sine of x, so I can factor that as a GCF, a greatest common factor, to the front, leaving cosine of x plus 1 as my other factor. And then using the zero product property, I can set each of those factors equal to zero and solve for x. So sine of x equals zero or cosine of x plus 1 is equal to 0. So using the inverse, I can get x by itself, and x then is the arc sine of 0. And that's asking us the question, um, what angles on the unit circle have a y-coordinate of 0? And that occurs at 0 pi and 2 pi um, within one revolution of the unit circle. Okay, then subtracting 1 from both sides, we have cosine of x equals negative 1. We're going to do the inverse to get x by itself, and that's the arc cosine of negative 1. That's asking us where um, on the unit circle do we have angles that have an x-coordinate of negative 1, and that occurs at the angle pi. And that's already part of our other solution, so that's just a repeated value. Okay, now we're going to check those answers on the calculator, and we want to make sure that we're in radian mode, which we are, and we can put that answer of pi in, storing it as x, and sine of x plus tangent of x equals 0. Press enter, we get back a 1, and so we know that pi checks as a solution. Okay, then we'll check 2 pi by storing that as x. We'll arrow up to that equation so we don't have to retype it. We get a 1, and so 2 pi also checks. 0 is coterminal with 2 pi, so 0 would have to be a solution as well.